Hi guys, my name is Chase, and I'm going to walk you guys through how to integrate Cosec and X, but not the traditional approach. This is going to be taking uh, a different approach. So first off, we're going to go ahead and jump right in and reciprocate Cosec and X, and we're going to get 1 over sine X dx. Then I'm going to go ahead and do something that may go against your intuition, and that is multiply the top and bottom by sine X. And by doing that, we'll be left over with sine x on top and sine squared on bottom. And I'm just going to go ahead and substitute the trig identity 1 minus cosine squared for sine squared. And of course, we have our dx. Now we can call upon the u substitution and substitute in for u cosine x. And by differentiating, we get du is equal to negative sine x dx. So now, all together on the bottom, we're going to have for sine x dx, we're going to go ahead and substitute in du. And since we have this negative in front of the sine x dx, that's why there's a negative 1 on top with the du, of course. And then on bottom, we're just going to go ahead and substitute the u for cosine x. So now, we're going to go ahead and clean this up a bit by multiplying the top and bottom by negative 1. And now by doing that, the top becomes positive 1. And then by distributing in the negative 1, we get our original positive 1 to be negative 1 and our initial negative u squared to be positive u squared. So now we're left with the integral of 1 over u squared minus 1 times du. And we're going to go ahead and factor out the denominator of this fraction as u minus 1 times u plus 1. And now we're going to call upon the infamous partial fraction decomposition and go ahead and use the, um, the cover-up method. So for the u minus 1, we're going to go ahead and plug in 1, so that becomes 0, cover it up, and plug in 1 for u. And by doing that, we're going to go ahead and get 1 half for the numerator. And likewise, we're going to do the same thing for u plus 1, and plug in negative 1 to make that 0, cover it up, and then we're going to go ahead and get negative 1 half for the numerator. So now, I'm going to go ahead and pull out the 1 half and integrate it. So we're going to have 1 over u minus 1 to be the natural log of the absolute value of u minus 1. And we're going to keep that negative from that negative 1 half here and say the integral of 1 over u plus 1 to be natural log of the absolute value of u plus 1. Now we're going to combine the natural logs here and we're going to simplify this as 1 half times natural log of the absolute value of u minus 1 over u plus 1. And now, just by subbing in from our initial u substitution, we're going to go ahead and have 1 half times the natural log of the absolute value of cosine x minus 1 over cosine x plus 1. And that is our final answer to a different approach to the integral of cosecant x. And to get this to look more like the traditional format of the answer, you can go ahead and multiply by the conjugate of cosine x plus 1. You can simplify it, and you should be able to get to that traditional answer. And that should do it. Hopefully you guys liked this video. And if you want to see that other traditional approach to the integral of cosecant x, you can go ahead and click on the link below in the description. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, I'm more than happy to answer them. Just, again, leave it in the comments below. Thanks.